Hi everyone, I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. In today's digital event, we'll bring you the latest updates on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, releasing on July 9th, and Monster Hunter Rise, which is already available. We're very excited to reveal the latest info on Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. But first, check out the new trailer. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that makes monsters mad seems to be happening all around. The guild's calling the lights rage rays. Tons of Raffalos vanish, and strange pits appear. There's no way it's a coincidence. They got some kind of creepy plan in the works. Don't you see? He has the same destructive power as the legendary Ratha. He's far too dangerous. He's too much for you to handle. Are you out of your mind? You care more for one Rathalos than for the world it might destroy? Now, believe in Ratha, and he'll believe in you. Through your bond, you can steer his power towards or away from chaos. It's up to you. the truth behind what's causing them. Ruin is coming to our world. The village is in danger! I won't let this happen! It's the Nagigante! meow de doo partner! <laughs> Get you! You know him, Naviru? As we just saw in the trailer, there are pits in the game that emit light, known as Rage Rays, that cause nearby monsters to become more violent. These Rage Raid monsters are appearing all around the world. So far, we've seen the mass disappearance of Rathalos, monsters losing control because of light from pits, and the birth of Ray's Wing Ratha. Where will it all lead? Strange things are happening, and the strength of your bond with Ratha will be put to the test. We also saw a rider named Avinia make an appearance with Frostfang, her monstie. We saw them in the previous installment, but they have grown up a lot since then. Avinia will join you on your adventure as a battle buddy, offering support with her hunting horn. We'd now like to touch on a couple of game features. First, we'll talk about obtaining monster eggs, and then about transferring powers and skills between monsties using the right of channeling. Eggs can be found in the deepest part of monster dens that randomly appear in the field. 
There are even some rare dens that pop up infrequently where you can get your hands on elusive monster eggs and ones that contain hard-to-find genes. Bring an egg bag to the stables and hatch it to get a new monster for your adventure. The rite of channeling is a ritual that allows you to transfer a gene from one monstie to another. By doing this, you can awaken a new ability in the monstie receiving the gene. During the ritual, you can choose which monstie will channel the gene, which monstie will inherit it, and which slot you will place the gene in. You can raise unique monsties by awakening new skills and abilities in interesting combinations. Each monster possesses a variety of genes. The color of the gene represents its element, and the pattern of the gene represents its attack type. Align three genes of the same color or pattern in a row, either vertically, diagonally, or horizontally, and you will receive a bingo bonus. This will grant your monster even more power. From placing a gene in an empty slot to stacking a gene atop one of the same type in order to upgrade it, there are many ways to enhance your monsties. By transferring Yon Kutku's fireball gene to a Lagambi, you can give the Lagambi the ability to manipulate fire that it would never have naturally. Or, if you transfer genes from a Glavinus, Gameth, Mizutsune, and Astalos to an Arzuros, the Arzuros will be able to use the skills of the Faded Four from Monster Hunter Generations. Through the Rite of Channeling, you can create a versatile monster that can use power, speed, and technical skills. Or you can upgrade your monster's fire element abilities until it's a fire specialist. Transferring genes allows you to individualize your monsters, creating ones that nobody else has. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will be released worldwide on July 9, 2021. Pre-orders are available for both the physical and digital versions of the game. For more information regarding pre-orders, please visit the official website. So that's the latest news about Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. We hope you're looking forward to its release. More info will be on the way soon, so stay tuned. Alright, let's have a look at the next title update for Monster Hunter Rise. Have a look at this new trailer.
as you can see, the new free title update, Monster Hunter Rise version 3.0, will be releasing on May 27th. We'll be showing you some of the content of this new update, so we hope you enjoy the show. Now here's the director, Yasunori Ichinose, to do the honors. Hello everyone, I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. I'm very happy to see everyone all over the world is enjoying our game. Thank you! To make sure you've got plenty more to do, I'll be showing off some of the new monsters and features of version 3.0. First up is a new variant of Valstrax, the flagship monster from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. It is known as Crimson Glow Valstrax, a mysterious elder dragon that can freely fly through the sky by changing the shape of its wings, allowing it to survive at unusually high altitudes. We made sure to give it a new form with new attacks, so we hope you look forward to it. We're introducing a new Apex monster, Apex Zenover. It's different from the regular variant, and its body is covered in golden lightning. It'll appear during Rampage quests, but you can take it on with a standard quest as well. I am Storm Incarnate. We'll be adding a new ending to the game's story. What danger awaits the hunter when Ibushi and Narwa come together? Divine peace with grace replete. Finally the twain shall meet. I won't spoil anything on this show, so you'll have to play the new quest in version 3.0 to find out. The update will also contain the following features. We will also be offering some new DLC on the same day as the title update. Yamogi reporting for duty! I'm gonna turn you into a donga! That's my buddy! Buddies lend me strength! We've got lots of colorful new content to spice up your hunting life. So keep an eye out on the official website and our social media. That's all about free title update version 3.0 for now. Now let's have a look at the roadmap for upcoming updates. We plan to offer regular updates with new event quests and DLC after version 3.0 as well. 
June will also see part one in a series of Capcom collabs. Kicking off with layered armor to turn your Palico into Tsukino, the mysterious feline from Monster Hunter Stories 2. Anyone who completes the corresponding event quest available from mid-June will be able to get this armor, so don't miss out. There will be more collab layered armor of Capcom characters in the future, so keep your eyes peeled for more information. We will have more to share with you on the updates and event quest schedule at a later date, so stay tuned. We hope you look forward to what's coming to Monster Hunter Rise in the future. If you have saved data from your Palamute riding adventures in Kamura Village, you can receive Kamura Garb, special layered armor for the player which resembles the hunter's gear. If you have saved data from your Monsty Bonding adventures in Mahana Village, you can receive Rider Armor, special layered armor for the player which resembles the default rider's gear. To reiterate, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will release on July 9th. And Monster Hunter Rise, which is already available, will be getting the free update, version 3.0, on May 27th. We hope you have fun with both of these games.